Okay, we're asked to find the area of the enclosed by the ellipse x equals a cosine t, y equals to b sine t. In fact, uh, this diagram is not given. You are only given this. So how do we draw the diagram? Okay, because x over a equals cosine t, y over b equals to sine t. By adding them up, by squaring them and adding them up, I actually use, make use of the trigonometric identity. Cosine square t plus sine square t equals to 1. So... I know this relationship, so x squared over a squared plus y squared or b squared equals to 1. This is a uh, formula for an ellipse with center at x minus 0. So you can rewrite this in terms of this, right? So you know by the standard form that the circle has a center at coordinate 0, 0, right? And uh, but the horizontal length from the center is, uh, the horizontal distance from the center is minus a, and a on both sides and the horizontal uh, vertical length from the center is minus b to b, uh, b on both sides right to this zero so then you have this uh, ellipse okay so once you know okay is the ellipse okay so area you know that the area of the whole ellipse is just four times the area of just this part right okay so what you can do is you take four times integrate from 0 to a, okay, 0 to a, and with respect to x, inside would be your y, okay, so this is because you are in degree, okay, so the y value, so then from here, you must change the y to either in terms of x or do parametric uh, equation, so change everything to in terms of, of t, so how I want to change everything in terms of t because if I change it, if you try changing it to x, the integration is very uh, difficult to do. So what I do is change everything to t. So first thing for integrate. So y, the y is just b sine t. Okay, I, I'm going to change them one one by one. So y I change to b sine t. So dx, but what is dx? Dx I must make use of this equation. So dx over dt i make use of this equation here so dx over dt equals to minus a sine t okay so when i that means my dx is just equals to minus a sine t dt right so this dx i will replace with d minus a sine t dt so minus a sine t dt but what about my uh, upper and lower limits so when my x, the up lower limit is 0, that means my x, when my x is equals to 0, then my cosine t, based on this, is equals to 0, now based on this, so x equals to 0, cosine t is 0, so that means t, when is cosine t equals to 0, so cosine t is equals to 0, when my t is pi over 2, isn't it? Okay, so it's just pi over 2. Okay, and when is my uh, x equals to a? So when my x is equals to a, then a over a equals to cosine t. So my cosine t equals to 1. And that means t equals to 0 for it to be 1. Okay. So, I will just do this. So, pi over 2 to 1, which is not exactly because, uh, okay, 0 to 0 to a. Okay, pi. Okay, t equals to, so t equals to 0. That will give me, that will give me, yes, my a. So, then we have this, uh, Minus a b, I can actually bring it because they are constants. I can actually bring them out. So minus four a b. Integrate pi over two to zero, and sine t times sine t is sine square t. Dt. So to solve for this, I make need to make use of the identity cosine two t equals to one minus two sine square t. So when I bring it becomes one minus cosine two t. And then the 2 sine square t, I will bring over to the other side. Okay. So then when I cancel, okay, this one is 2. 1 minus cosine 2t over 2. Okay. 
So 1 minus cosine 2t over 2, I will just bring the 2 okay, out of the integral. So I get minus 2ab integrate 0 pi over 2. So I have 1 minus cosine 2t inside. This is just coming from here, except that I brought bring the 2 out. And 4 divided by 2 is just 2. Okay, so then I have dt. If you can't understand this, you do it slowly, step by step by yourself, and then you will understand how I get to here. I jump a few steps to get here. Right, so you just need to work from here and slowly. Okay, so minus 2ab. So here I'll have, okay, minus 2ab, and then I will integrate inside. So 1 will become t. When I integrate with respect to t, 1 will become t. And minus cosine 2t would be minus sine 2t over 2. Okay, um, therefore you need some basics of integration techniques uh, to be able to understand this. So 0 and pi of 2 is just in just this. And then for definite integral, okay, I'm going to substitute all this inside. So this is equals to when I substitute minus 2ab, 0 is 0. Okay, 0 sine 0 is 0, so minus 0, then minus the second pi over 2. Okay, minus sine pi over 2 times uh, 2 is just sine pi. Sine pi, we know that sine pi is 0. Okay, so 0, so minus uh, 0 here. Okay, so we'll have uh, minus pi over 2. Okay, so when we multiply minus not out, out of this, we get minus minus become positive 2 and 2 will cancel away. So I will left with pi ab. So pi ab is my answer.